Hi everyone and welcome to Training Tuesday for Tuesday, October 18th, 2022. This episode is going to start out with our California King Snake Grogu doing three training repetitions during a single session. I'm just going to play those to music and let you watch and then I'll explain the last training session at the end. This training session is of my five-year-old Morelia Bradley, Sunspear. She was actually way up high near the ceiling on one of her activity areas. And I had fed another snake on the backside of these enclosures and the activity stand that you see her on. And she came down from the ceiling and she was starting to go over towards where the other snake was eating behind these enclosures. So I get her attention with her target and I'm asking her to disengage her attention from the other snake who's eating and pay attention to me and to change direction and follow the target over to where I'm directing her. Obviously, I don't want her interfering with the other snake who's eating. I don't want any kind of altercation or agonistic behavior over food. She came down, I guess, from the smell or sight of the activity, and she was going in that direction. So I intervened immediately and directed her away from the other snake and the food. Now she's got competing motivations going on here because there's food in another snake's mouth right around the corner of this enclosure. I don't have food. I'm not luring her. I mean, I have access to food because I'm going to reinforce her, but I'm not showing her the food. The target is not scented. I'm relying just on her training to follow the target, knowing that contingent upon that behavior, she will get reinforced with food. And she's doing an amazing job. I wasn't sure if this would work because of the competing attention going on between the food and the other snake and me. I was very proud of her that she followed her target. And I don't care where she goes. She's just moving across my standing desk with a bunch of miscellaneous items on it. That doesn't matter. I just wanted her attention directed in the opposite direction from where the other snake was eating. And she gets a little distracted along the way. She's moving slowly, but overall her focus on the target and me is maintained. And I just want her to move her head and neck over the edge of the standing desk so that she's hanging down a little bit and then I'm going to deliver reinforcement. Right after you see this, I'm going to repeat the part of this clip that shows her taking the food and there's a reason for that. I want to show you the difference between a food strike and a defensive strike. We very rarely have snakes defensively strike here and it's rare that I get to film it. So that was a food strike. And this is what a defensive strike looks like. It was a rare opportunity to show you. <laughs> 